Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here in YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and it's my latest tutorial. This is a plastic model build, and that is an Apache helicopter. It's 148 scale, and it's made by Ravel. Fun little build, easy to do, nice looking hel helicopter with a lot of armaments on it. And this is part of two videos that I did on helicopters. The other one here is the Huey. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you out of real creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, so let's open up the box and see what we have. There it is. Nice box. Bigger than normal. That's because the um, fuselage for this air, this helicopter. It's a little bit bigger than the normal, the, like larger than the Huey. You could see that. But inside the box is the standard stuff. It's the sprues with all the parts on them. And a sprue with clear plastic parts. Those are the windows and windshield for the cockpit. The instructions, which come with everything you need. And the decal sheet. So let's start building it. And this build's a little bit different than the other helicopter. And I'll show you. The first thing you should do is um, gently rinse off in soapy water um, the various sprues. That will clean off any oil residue from the building process, make it easier to paint and apply the decals and glue. And then lay them on paper towel, lay those sprues on paper towels to air dry. Don't try to dry them by hand, you may knock off some of the little parts. Now the instructions, um, this one, in, in this one, um, we're going to paint it all first before we put it together. And I, I've done it both ways. And uh, the instructions tell you every part, what, what its number is and what color to paint it. So there we go, you know, um, I'm thinking uh, in a, maybe in a future model build, I'll actually prime the, prime the helicopter, or excuse me, whatever model it is I build, maybe I'll prime it, but I've had a lot of luck with not priming the parts. It's pretty good. But I went ahead and painted everything according to the instructions. A lot of, of course, olive drab. You know, let me know what you think. And, you know, I'm thinking about, too, getting a... Oh, I love the pilots. They came out really good. Do a little dry brushing there to get their seat belts harnesses uh, painted but let me know what you think I know I'm thinking about getting a um, an airbrush and doing some airbrushing on these models that would be a nice step up for me and for the videos so everything's painted including some of the trim on the clear plastic parts those ha that has to be those have to be painted too so let's start building it and this one doesn't have a whole lot of sub assemblies which makes it a little bit different than a lot of other model builds this one's pretty straightforward in that a lot of the stuff just gets attached to the fuselage of the helicopter. But um, follow the instructions step by step. Really easy. Cut the pieces off the sprue with a nice sharp knife. And then check them for burrs where you cut them and uh, file them down as needed. Because um, those little burrs can sometimes get in the way of a good glue or the parts going together correctly. So you should always take a, a good look at them and make sure they're clean and ready to go. And once they are, you should um, test the assembly first before applying glue and gluing them. And that's what I, I did that with these parts. And then you apply some glue and glue them. And I generally use two different types of glues. I use the um, tester's cement that comes in the squeeze tube. It's like a gel. And I also like the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. Right, like you see, I'm using here with the applicator brush. You know, the thin cement, generally you have to apply more than one coat. But it makes less of a mess, and it's really, really um, useful when it comes to small parts. So that was kind of a little sub-assembly of the turbine. And uh, now we're going to attach that one to each half of the fuselage. And, of course, I tried it first to make sure I got the orientation right and that it fits correctly. See? Just like that. And it looks good. Then apply some cement to it and uh, and apply it. And you know, if you're not familiar with models, this isn't actually a glue that we're using here. It's a cement. What happens is, it 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 melts the plastic, so you get a really good bond. It, you know, does a chemical melting of the plastic. 
So the two plastic pieces kind of become one. And then, this, like I said, there's more parts that gl get glued to the fuselage, both half, left and right. And there's even some little tiny handles, a whole bunch of little tiny handles like the that the pilot would grab a hold of uh, when he's getting into the plane, into the helicopter. And uh, I don't show any of that, but there was a lot of those that get attached to the, to the fuselage. And then one of the wheels. That's a little assembly. And this one is different than most. Most of them rotate. This one doesn't. And then attach that to the helicopter. You know, pretty much standard assembly and a, a reasonably easy build to do. I, I believe it's a skill level. Um, it's rated for age, ages 10 plus, and it is a skill level 2. And the cockpit is always fun. I always enjoy that part. A bunch of little parts you put in there, and you, you put the pilots in, and little control panels, and just about every single military vehicle is like that, where you build a cockpit assembly. Which also, in this one, also includes on the left there, you can see is the um, mechanism for holding in the propellers. It's like a, that circular drum. So then I went ahead and did the propellers. Which was an easy assembly. And see that's going to go into that and it's going to spin freely. So it looks good. So now that assembly, the cockpit and um, propeller assembly, go into one half of the fuselage. Looks good. And that's pretty standard. You get that at a lot of models where the fuselage just comes in two halves and you uh, put the various things inside just like we did with the other helicopter, the Huey. And then once you get all the various parts inside, you put the other half of the fuselage on. And I'm testing it right here just to make sure everything fits right. There's no burrs. I get, I get it right. It's in the right spot. Everything, everything is smooth. And then I would uh, add glue to it and glue them together. You know, it is an attack helicopter, so there are a lot of armaments on it. And um, I'll show you some of those. But there you go. Now it's starting to actually look like a real vehicle. And the wings here, now this is interesting. See how that's got a long tang on it? That tang goes inside the chopper. And then the other wing on the other side also has a long tang on it. And you apply glue to the relevant sides of that tang because they actually meet inside the craft and, uh, and attach to each other. See, see how that wing is sagging? When you put the other one in and they attach and glue to each other and then it will hold itself in the correct position just like that so you get a watch for that and one goes on top inside and one goes underneath inside so then we add the various arm ar armaments like I had said uh, you know I'm thinking about um, doing a diorama with these helicopters that'd be fun let me know what you think if you want to see a diorama um, and if you like the military stuff uh, you know, I have a whole section with just hundreds of pages and tutorials and builds of all kinds of military craft, military dioramas, or just you name it. How to paint them, how to build them, miniatures, how to make barbed wire. I mean, just you name it. I get all kinds of stuff there. You know, check it out. I'll put a link in the description of this video. But there you go. We're just about built. And uh, we're going to add the glass. And some of that glass was painted green and the instructions tell you how to do that and you know they make a special glue for this clear plastic it doesn't distort the plastic because cement the normal cement will distort that if you like you get a little bit on the clear part it'll distort it and or your fingerprints will do it so they make special cement for that but that's it the cockpit um, 
cowl is on and now the side windows and we're finishing this thing up so from there there was all those little handles that I talked about We're going right now. I'm dry fitting them just like I do with all the other parts. Make sure everything fits correctly. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there's also a way to put these on so they're open. A lot of our models have that where you can glue it in place, open or closed. So, th so to finish it all off, we apply the decals. And being an attack helicopter here, the decals are very subdued. Like the Huey helicopter had a lot of bright colors on it. Um, this one has um, everything's very dark because you don't want you really don't want to um, be seen. Yeah. But um, and the instructions show you where to put all the various decals, and there's a lot of them, some large ones like this, and a bunch of small ones, and warning signs, and numbers, and instructions, and stuff that just go on the craft. So you wet it, you wet that, you wet it, you cut a decal out, you soak it in water for a minute. And then you can slide it onto the craft like that, and then you can still move it around. And if you have trouble moving it around, use a Q-tip to add water, and it'll slide effectively. And then once you have it in place, use the Q-tip to um, dry it off. So that's it. Let me know what you think. If you build models, I'd love to um, hear about it. And if you want to take pictures or you know or do an assembly, let me know. I'll put it on my website. It'd be fun, you know. And you want to contribute some military model stuff to my website? Send me an email. Um, that's a big section, a lot of good stuff there. Um, I probably won't do another military model for a little bit, but I already have ordered one. I have a tank. I can't remember what scale it is, but it's a pretty nice tank. It's like one of the most popular ones that that uh, that are built. So there we go. There is the Apache helicopter. AH-64. 148 scale. Skill level 2. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.